Well, Victoria Murphy, who of course is royal correspondent with Daily Mirror, joins us now. So, Victoria, are you getting any word then? on what's going on? I wish I could tell you, Kate. I wish I could tell you all the details about exactly what's going on inside Anne Hall right now, but I'm afraid, just as William and Kate want it, it is going to be a private family day, and we won't find out all the exact details of how George spends his second birthday, but we do know that they are having a little celebration at Anne Hall today, their country home. We do know that close family and, and possibly some close friends, godparents, are expected to go round there today. I also think it's possible that they will maybe have a, another celebration this weekend as well, perhaps on Saturday because um, Charles and Camilla are working uh, this week. They can't get up to Anma today. So I think it might be quite nice. We know that they're going to be in Sandringham at the weekend. I'm sure that they'll do something with them to They've got to spoil well. him. They've got to have the chance to spoil Absolutely. him, haven't they? Absolutely. A quite different feel then from his first birthday, which was, you know, we know it was a Peter Rabbit theme one, but quite a lot bigger and more public, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think because they had his first birthday at their official residence in Kensington Palace and they knew there was going to be very much heightened interest in that because it's the first birthday um, and also we knew that the Queen was going to attend as well so that added a kind of extra air of gravitas and we did see guests coming and going from the central London Palace um, last year but I, I don't think that we'll see anything like that this year I think it's it's going to be much more low-key. It'd be so much fun wouldn't it if you suddenly saw one of them appear with some sad looking balloons like everybody else does. <laughs> yeah, what time the time the <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so for a two-year-old how much of it do they you know they don't remember it anyway do they is it more for the parents this kind of birthday I mean you know you know Kate's family are party planners aren't they so she probably enjoys throwing a party or two I think it is I mean I think everyone wants to mark all of their children's birthdays even the ones that they're not going to remember um, I, I have a two-year-old and she's just had a birthday and I think she, she didn't really know why it was all happening but she was very excited by all of the fuss of and and I think that they are aware that something is going on that involves them and and they love that and of course all of the party paraphernalia that the Middleton specialize in the balloons and the bunting and everything that's all really exciting to them at that age as and well you yeah. can love cake, can you? Yeah. Look at you. Yeah, I'm going to be a Buckingham Palace shaped cake. You just don't know, <laughs> do you? I'm sure we'll find out the details afterwards, but it'll Hopefully, be one to watch, yeah. won't it? Mm. Thanks very much for that, Thank Victoria. You. George's christening was in St James's Palace, yes. and there's plenty of space for them to get ready and then bring him into the room. Right. But with this one, it is a church, and there's nowhere for them to get Charlotte ready. They can't be ready. changing in the nave, Exactly, can they? 